So today I'm going to be demonstrating oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. And I'm going to be doing this on my own because Jake does not want to help measure out the ingredients. However, he is going to help put everything uh, in the bowl and complete the directions um, with me. So I have, of course, I have my hair up, I have my hands washed, I have my apron on, I have all my equipment and all my ingredients out. So this is the second cookie recipe that you're going to be making in class. So it should be a little bit easier as far as the uh, ingredients go and the direction in each in the recipe because they are very uh, similar as far as creaming ingredients and blending them uh, together. So my first ingredient is a half cup of butter. Again, you're not going to do anything with the butter. The butter should be room temperature, should be nice and soft. That'll give you the ability to cream it together uh, easily too. Again, I like to use butter, especially in this oatmeal chocolate chip uh, recipe. If you don't like chocolate chips, you can use raisins. Um, also, if you're at home, you could add nuts to it um, also. However, in class, I tend to use the chocolate chips because some students don't like the raisins, even though they are healthier. Uh, the first ingredient I am going to measure is going to be a half cup of brown sugar. Again, this is the one ingredient you're always going to pack down. So you're going to need a spoon, and I'm going to need my half cup measuring cup. So while I have my wax paper here, I'm going to make a couple pieces, some big and some smaller. So when I have to measure things out on the wax paper, I have it available to me. So that will at least get me started. Okay, so I have my brown sugar. Like I said, it's the one ingredient you're always going to pack down. So your brown sugar should be nice and soft. I'm doing it on my wax paper. That way it doesn't get all over my countertop. So when I say pack down, you're actually going to pack it down nice and tight. That's why you need the regular spoon out nice and tight. I could go back and grab what's here. Press that down. I'm going to need more. If you ever um, come into a container in class and the brown sugar is hard, just let me know. I'll give you a, a new batch. There are a couple tricks uh, to getting that brown sugar um, soft again. It says it on the side of the box. I believe you could put an apple slice in it. You could pop it in the microwave for a little bit uh, and for that to make it um, to soften up. Just like uh, 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 and remember with the cookies, I told you different tricks at the end I'll talk about again to keep your cookies uh, nice and soft. Okay, so some cookies actually harden, but there's a couple tricks to keep them soft uh, in the end. Okay, so I packed it down nice and tight. I leveled it off. I was talking, so I forgot what I told you uh, to do. So again, I have another piece of wax paper. Remember, when you invert this, it should remain together. That means that I packed it down. Let me see if you can see it nice and tight. Okay, so there's my brown sugar. My extra brown sugar is going to go right back into my container. It then calls for a quarter of a cup of regular granulated sugar. So I'm just going to flip this over and use the same piece of wax paper. Usually if the recipe has more brown sugar than regular sugar, it should be a nice soft cookie. These are one of my favorite cookies in class that we do make. So with the quarter cup, I'm just going to take, I have the room over my container to level it off. It'll level off a quarter of a cup, and I'm just going to use this piece of wax paper to place that onto two. Okay, so I have my quarter of a cup of regular granulated sugar. Then call for one egg that I'm going to crack. Make sure that we get no shells. In the cluster bowl. Okay, so again, there we are. I got a little bit of the white on my fingertips. I'm just going to wipe that off just to place things uh, safely. All right, so I have my one egg crack, no shell, looks like a good egg. Perfect. And then it calls for a teaspoon of vanilla. So again, you're going to need another cluster bowl for that. Make sure that you use the right measurement. Again, you always want to be careful with the vanilla. You're not going to measure up here, you're going to measure nice and close. And you're going to go very, very slowly. Put it right to the top and then pop that in. And you have your vanilla. Then it calls for a half cup plus two tablespoons of flour. So make sure you don't forget about that other two tablespoons. So this original recipe actually made a lot more cookies, but it's way too many cookies 
uh, to prepare in class. So I cut the recipe in half and that's why it has the two tablespoons attached to. So as always, I'm going to take my flour with a spoon and I'm going to measure a half cup, which I have right here. And I'm going to grab my two tablespoons and I'm going to get wax paper for the measured out. So again, I'm going to lightly spoon. I'm actually going to use it over here. So lightly spoon, I heap over. I level off. Here's my half cup. I'm going to put it there. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to grab my spoon. You don't have to lightly spoon into the spoon. It is a small amount. Make sure I'm doing the right thing. There's one tablespoon. And I like in class, I'm going to just take from this. If you can show me the actual tablespoons, okay? Because I want to make sure I'm going to check your ingredients so then you're going to be able to eat the cookies in the end. All right, so they're half cup and two tablespoons. So when you do this in class, try to keep it like that. If you do put it in a pile, it should be okay. I'm just going to say you're sure that you measured a half cup plus the two tablespoons, or else it's going to be very sticky uh, in the end. This is a two-day recipe, just like every cookie recipe in class. We just don't have enough time to be able to make the, uh, the uh, batter or gel and then be able to uh, bake them in the same period. So time does fly when it comes to uh, family consumer science when it comes to cooking. 40 minutes, it usually, um, we don't have enough time to do everything in one period, okay? Because so, this will take a full-blown period of 40 minutes by the time you guys uh, take everything out, uh, put everything together, and then of course clean everything up, okay? So the next ingredient is going to be um, a half teaspoon of baking soda. So baking soda is going to work alone in this recipe. In a quick bread, usually baking soda needs baking powder. All right, so I'm going to take one of my smaller pieces of wax paper, and I'm going to measure, it's actually a quarter of a teaspoon. If I said half, I was wrong. I can't read my own writing, or it's very, very small. Or maybe I need glasses. So I'm going to take, I'm going to heap over, and I'm going to level off. And again, I have another piece of wax paper for that measured amount. And I'm going to try to get this back into my container. And then again, I'm going to flip this over. And then it calls for a half teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to need another piece of wax paper. I'm going to need a few more pieces of wax paper. I'm going to cut them up now. I know I need a lot of oats, so I'm going to make another piece for my oats. Okay, so it calls for, again, let me check, a half teaspoon of salt. There's one, there's a tablespoon, and this is my half. I'm going to pour it slowly. I'm going to heap it over a little bit. I'm going to level off, and then I'm going to place my measured amount. With the salt, you can try to get it back in there. Salt is pretty cheap. If you can't get it back in there, just toss it out. I was able to get most of that. In. Okay, so there's my salt, and then calls for one and a half cups of oats. This will be a shared ingredient in class. You're going to take it from the supply table, and then when you're done measuring it out, you're going to put it back on the supply table. So I have it in a bag. Now with this, just you can kind of eyeball this with one cup. I'm kind of just using the bag. There's one cup. And I'm going to put my half cup in there too. So you don't want you don't want too much. I'm just kind of taking my hand, and then there's my half cup. Then the last ingredient is going to be the chocolate chips that you should not be eating, because then you're just taking away from your group. You're going to be using larger, regular size chocolate chips in class. I actually like the mini ones, and I have the mini ones at my home. And it's going to call for a half cup of those. I'm going to take another piece of wax paper, and again, this is an ingredient, and if you want a little bit more, that's fine. Like I said, um, maybe you like nuts, and you don't have an allergy to nuts, you can use them in this recipe too. I wish I had some nuts that I actually can use in this recipe. Do we have any nuts, Jake? He has headphones on right now, so 
He's not going to tell me, but if I put nuts in it, he really won't eat these cookies. Okay. Then I have a half cup of my chocolate chips. Right. And there we go. All my ingredients are measured out. And at this point, I'm going to clean up some of the mess I have at, in class, and I'm going to go along with my directions. In class, you would call me over, I would check, I would make sure you measured everything out, and then you would go along with your directions. So I'm going to stop the video right now. I'm going to clean up things to the side. I'm going to hope that my um, helper, Jake, is going to help me with the directions in a moment. Okay, so we're going to continue with the oatmeal chocolate chip cookies, and as I said, my assistant is here with me today. He just washed his hands, put his apron on. We're ready to put all the ingredients together. So it says the first ingredient says in a large bowl, cream together the butter, the brown sugar. So and we know Jake likes to crumble the brown sugar, right? So I'm going to tell Jake to crumble the brown sugar while I put the butter in here. It's all right. You're just going to crumble it all up. This is the butter, the brown sugar, and the granulated sugar. So I'm going to take the granulated sugar. Just remember, the brown sugar you don't want to put together in a big clump. All right, so you're going to make sure you get keep that all on the wax paper. I'm going to get this nice and soft. Is that good to go? All right, so, okay, you want to do it here, though. What are you doing? Oh, right here. You want to pour it in? Mm -hmm. And then come down here then. Okay. Now we're gonna mix that all together until it's nice and smooth. So you're gonna let me just get, get it started. Okay, so this is the part where you want your butter to be nice and soft. Now I'm just gonna get whoops, Jake started. <laughs> right? Are you yawning? Yeah. And this is kind of gonna be a little hard where you're gonna need those muscles. So what I usually tell the students to go back and forth from the wooden spoon. Put the rubber spatula and just kind of smush it all in together. So you didn't forget it this time. I actually went out and bought a rubber scraper spa spatula because yeah. I forgot it at school last time. All right, so you're going to try to mix that. Make sure, just remember, because you see what it was happening doing uh, with Mommy. Press it up against the side. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another direction. It says a medium bowl combine the flour, the baking soda, and the salt. So I'm going to combine the flour. You're just going to keep trying to mix that. The baking soda and the salt. So, Jake, what does combine mean? What am I going to do with those three ingredients? To the side. Okay. <laughs> well, that's not good, right? Maybe you should wash your hands. What does combine mean? It means that you mix it and it turns into the same thing. Okay, yeah. Mix it all. So, I'm just using the bottom of my rubber scraper. So you want to make sure you combine that all together. So we have some butter chunks in here right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to help Jake smash that up to the side. I just was going to use that. Okay, you want to try it? Yeah. All right, so this will take some time in class. You want to form it all together for it to become one uh, big mass here. And then eventually we're going to beat the egg in there as well as the uh, vanilla. We still have some chunks. Let's show them what it looks like now. I don't know if you guys can see. But you want to smash it up against the side. Okay, let me just try it because this is pretty hard. So what I'm noticing is maybe I should have made my butter a little bit softer, right? So I make mistakes all the time, right? I make them in class all the time. But you know, nobody's perfect. All right, what I want you to do, can you do me a favor, Jake? Can you... Take that egg and pour it in. We're all together now. He's going to add the egg. Perfect. And I, I just put that down. I cracked the egg at Nana's. Oh, you did? It didn't really work. It splattered all over oh, the shirt man. on our floor. It did? Yeah. So eggs are sometimes very hard to crack, especially if you knew what doing it. All right? Did she have a custard bowl or did she put it right into the, the bowl? She just did she crack it into a glass or something? Yeah. Okay. Because what if she cracked it into this and the egg was bad? She would ruin everything. On a very, very, very small bowl. Oh, she shouldn't have a bowl like that? Nope. Mm -hmm. All right. So we added that egg. Now I'm going to have you take that vanilla. See the other vegetable, Jake? Over there? 
I thought there that. was nothing in it. No, that's vanilla. It's just a very, very small amount. So we're mixing this all together. It's getting nice and creamy. Still have some chunks of butter, but once we add that vanilla, it's all going to come together. What does it look like now? Yeah, it's pretty disgusting, right? It's like a bunch of mush. All right, pour the vanilla in. I had it really good um, when I was mixing it. Now, you made these the other night with Nana, right? And guess what? what? You couldn't see nothing. No, no butter. butter. No butter? No. She must have had it nice and soft. No, then. I did it. Oh, you did it? Oh, maybe you should be doing this then. All right, here we go. So now we have, we beat the egg, we in a medium bowl, we put our flour, baking soda, and our salt. So now it says pour the flour mixture into the butter mixture. So I'm going to, you want to do that? Sure, it gets all in there. Perfect. And then we're going to start mixing it. So again, you want to be careful with this or the butter is going to go all over the place. So again, I like to use the rubber scraper. Do you remember why I like using the rubber scraper? What do I do when I... Mix. You get the sides. You scrape all the sides. Okay, so this is eventually going to come together. You want to do it a little? Mm -hmm. You could use a wooden spoon too. Then I keep changing. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to notice that once you add the oats, you're really going to need those muscles because it's going to get really, really tough and it's going to get hard to actually mix. But there's a lot of wet ingredients there right now. Again, I, it will eventually come together. Don't say it's not coming to be, together. It's all crumbly. It will work. Just use your muscles. If you are at home, uh, you can use an electric mixer or a stand mixer, but a, a wooden spoon will work too. Let me just scrape this off, Jake. All right, keep doing it. We're almost ready. Because then what's going to happen is we're going to add our oats, and then we're going to add our chocolate chips. We can, we can use them. You can use those with Nana. They're oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Oh. Nana said we can use almonds too. Almonds? Nuts. Oh, nuts, yeah, you can. I wish we had some, but you probably really wouldn't eat them. I like nuts in my cookies. Not me. Not you, I know. Okay, so right now it kind of looks like peanut butter, right? Mm hmm Yep, so it should be nice and creamy at this point, and then we're going to add the oats, so this is where it gets really hard. Can I? You're going to add them? Here, let me help you, though, or else you're going to pour all out. You're going to pour them in. Perfect. And we're going to add our chips. Can you do that? I'll do the chips. And no, then... I, no, you mix it. Oh, you want to pour it? Okay, so again, I use mini chocolate chips. Because they're not as long as. Well, they're not as big, right? Okay, so this is where the hard part comes in. You're going to want those muscles. It's going to take some time. So you're going to go back and forth. You want to try to scrape the sides while I do this. And it will eventually all come together. I'm just taking and I'm lifting all that stuff on the bottom and mixing it all together. Your oats should no longer be dry. They should look like they're wet. All right? And then we're going to actually put this in the fridge overnight because in school, we just don't have enough time. Now, are you going to taste one of these when they're done? Maybe. Did you taste one at Nana's? Yes. Were they good? I didn't like You didn't them. like it? Why not? These are like my favorite cookie. Sugar ones. You like the sugar cookies. So he made sugar cookies the other night. Two. Same night we did Same it. Same night they did it. He was over there for uh, New Year's Eve, right? Mm -hmm. Mommy got rid of him. He was up till midnight and Mommy was in bed by what, 10, 10, 30? I had a headache. You had a headache? Cousin Jack. Oh, his cousin Jack was giving you a headache? Mm -hmm. Why? This is like That's not nice. Jack's probably going to watch us. Maybe you should take that back. Mm. <laughs> Right. So it's all nice and wet, right? This side is really wet. Really wet. So it's all going to come off the side of the bowl. Now, do you think the kids should take this all in their hand and put yeah. it on wax paper? Uh uh. Okay, so it's all going to come together. I'm going to move this to the side. I just scraped this. All right, that's fine. All right, now we're going to take a big enough piece of wax paper, and this is what you're going to do in class. And then we're going to be done for today. Do the second half maybe later. All right, so I'm not going to take it in my hand. Maybe you can hold the bowl. Hold the bowl. Well, I'm going to be pouring there. There you, there you go. So I'm going to, Jake's holding me, my assistant. I'm going to let it boom. I think you should use the rubber scraper. Oh, okay. Boss. Thank you, sir. Oh, you got a really good teacher. Who taught you how to make cookies? Nobody. 
What? You. Oh my gosh, you're making me look bad in front of my students. <laughs> Better not be doing nothing behind my back again either. You're giving me the evil eyes right now. All right, so this is a drop cookie. So on day two, we're going to show you just drop them from a spoon. So right now, just leave it. I have every, I'm not going to take it with my fingers. All you're going to do what I say in class is just wrap it like a present. Like that. Like wrap a present. And like that. And then you're going to hand to your teacher, Mrs. Sauer, and then we're going to label it with the group number and period number. All right? We did a good job, right? Yeah. Tell them to come back later and watch day two of Oatmeal Chocolate. Come back later!